and we are live. Hello, guys. So let me see. Chat. Super. So I just put all the settings in. There we are. So today it's time to uh, uh, continue with this fly. Uh, the shatter is going to be nice. I was uh, looking through my uh, yay feathers. My God, I, I got four pairs uh, that we can work with and see which uh, which the best one. Uh, I sorted maybe 250 feathers just earlier to prepare. But hey, let's start. I'm going to change the camera. And there we are. I think we got quite good contrast. So let's begin. Topping. Somehow there is always toppings. Hi, Daryl. Hi, Robert. Yeah, nice, Daryl. Right in time. Fantastic. Hi, Monty. How are you? So I'm going to start with a tiny, tiny topping and then just add a bit longer. Vortnik, hello, how are you? And then just add it longer and longer as we go. And I wanna try to achieve some nice rain, but I wanna have a really short one because uh, I wanna fill it up. I don't wanna have big gaps in it. Uh, so hopefully we can achieve that today. Yeah, that will work. Hi, David. How are you? And it's thanks to David that I uh, can uh, tie this fly today. He was uh, a superhero coloring some substitute for me uh, since I did tie on rather big hook. And there we have the second superstar, Dave, who also, who also did the color some substitute and sent me. So thank you guys. Without you, I wouldn't be able to tie this uh, fly today. Oh, yeah, I'm always fit for toppings. There's always a good topping day. <laughs> but let's see how many toppings we can add uh, today, because I, I want the fly to look nice, as nice as possible. Uh, I didn't like that one. So let me see. Maybe this one is better. Hi, Fred. How are you? Yeah, so Fred was the one who requested me to tie this pattern. Um, Thanks a lot for that, Fred. <laughs> but it, it, it's great fun, though. Just going to hump it a bit. There we go. Two toppings. Maybe push it up a bit more. It's 
gonna look better with some some more toppings on. There we go. I'm just gonna straighten it a bit. There we go. I'm gonna remove if there's any feather on the back side, and it was. There we go. So I think I'm gonna add like four or five toppings. Then we're gonna start with the Indian crew substitute and so on. A bit of wax. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna do the same. I like to have you put the tinsel underneath. So, three toppings. So we're starting to get a wing, slow but steady. So I'm just gonna measure. Yeah, I'm gonna straighten it out a bit. I hope you guys had a, a great weekend so far. Hmm. That one just turned ugly. I threw that away. <coughs> so let me see what we got. Long ones. Okay. So I need to have something in between. These are long ones and long ones. They are short. Let me have a look in my little box. Uh, it's going to be a bit short. Yeah. That could be something. Yep. Just going to see what we have. Yeah, that, that might be even better because I don't need to stress building it long already. So, it's nice to have a lot of toppings prepared so you can just choose what you need. So let's try this one. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice bargain. Uh, 20 euro for a suit, then. that's good. So, so you already uh, starting to choose your, your clothes for uh, the fishing trip over here, Dave.
So there we are. Four toppings. So I'm just gonna calculate and see. Uh, let me see. I think I might one more before we go with the <clears throat> we go with the Indian crow. Yeah. Yeah, full tweed suit, a split cane. <laughs> Fantastic. And I'm gonna I'm gonna walk in my crocs and shorts. <laughs> Yes, sorting out. So there we are. <laughs> I'm just messing around with you, Dave. <laughs> So, time for the Indian crow substitute. Uh, just gonna add some wax to the thread. Yeah, tweed is brutal, my God. Itchy and uh, hot and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, what Nick, Nick, you're right. <laughs> A wet tweed doesn't smell good. So Uh, I'm going to reset that one. It's curving out. There we go. Some more wax to the thread.
Ta-da! So I'm just gonna gently move it upwards a bit. So there we are. And then we have substitute number two. Oh, it's going to look really good. I prepared the other one. So, back thread. I just reading up. Yeah, you you really had to work harder. Yeah, I, I'm I'm so grateful. And they they just look stunning. Have a look at that one. You did such a good work. Hello, Timothy, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. It's finally a weekend. No. That didn't go as I wanted. Now it looks better. <coughs> I think one is a bit longer than the other one. Yeah, it is. Hmm. I think they're going to correct that. Yes, so they are the even, even length. So let's see which side. It's going to be my side, so I'm just going to shorten it. No, the other side, okay. Great. Even better. So, there we are. Now it's the same length. Looks much, much better. Wow. 
Now they turned out really good, Dave. I'm really, really happy. Yes, look at that. You can't complain on that. Uh, it turns that one. Now it's better. Hmm. Now I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna redo that. Sorry, because I want them to be outside of the topping, but now they have like mixed a bit. My fault. So let me just reset. There we go. I'm going to brush it out a bit more. There we go. So we're going to start to add this side. Oh yeah, magenta dyed kingfisher. I'm gonna buy some more kingfishers and dye them. Looks rather nice. So, then this side. So let me cut the stem first, because now I'm happy where they are.
Okay, so the A is gonna correct that one, but let's make sure it's just perfect. No, it's not. Okay. There's always one feather that uh, don't like you. Gonna remove this one. It's just in the way. There we go. So let's see which one we can take. Maybe that one. What do you guys think? Hmm. Now this is gonna look better. So just preparing the yay. One side done. So similar on the other side then. Yeah. It's strange how many yay feathers you can have, but still you can't find the perfect pairs. But I I used quite a lot of yay feathers for the Trahorn flies earlier, so <clears throat>
So having a look at all these toppings then. From tackle. <clears throat> yeah, core collection also eats a lot of yay. A lot of front tackles there. There we go. So time to add that. Thanks a lot, buddy. Hi. So Maybe I should have doubled it before I tied it in. Whoops, just crashing the vice. <laughs> so let me get the, that one off. And then we have some correction to do. And there we go. So I'm just going to pull the hackle downwards gently.
bit of concentration here. Sorry for being quiet. I think that's going to sort itself when I start to add toppings. So let's start with that. We have a few more toppings to add. Oh, that was an ugly topping. I threw that away. Curved. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. There we go. Good length. So I think we have five toppings so far. So this is number six. Thanks a lot for helping me answering in the chat. And then we have another topping on. So let's see, topping number seven. Oh, this has a nice rain to it. So let's see if it's long enough. Yeah, I would say. So. Let's add some more bags first. And then topping number seven. There we go. Yes, for the volume. And then we go with something bigger. Yeah, topping number eight. I think we stay with Hi, Dimitri. I think we're going to end with nine toppings. I think that will be sufficient.
So it's starting to come together. I'm gonna add another topping and then we're done with toppings, I think. Oh, this is a dragon. Maybe too long. <laughs> but this one, yeah. Uh, that's in the bin. So too long. It's interesting that you have too long toppings. <laughs> Let me see if I straighten this one out a bit. Ah, uh, bit short. They are all short. So let's have a look here. That was the, the long ones. They are thin, so let me open my magic box again. Thanks a lot, buddy. I just love tying these uh, flies live. Uh, it's special, very, very fun, exciting. Oof. Maybe a little bit too long. Little bit too short. So, lucky we have a, a lot of toppings to choose from. Oh, this might be a winner. Yeah. Let's take that one. Just for your view, there we are, and it's going to end up like there. I would say that's pretty nice. Oh, I forgot to take out the horns. So I have some work to pull down all these feathers. Ah, I can do that later. So let's fix the thread instead. <clears throat> so the last topping, topping number nine. Oh, and the strand from the thread so let me see if i can just slide it in place now
Something like that, guys. Yeah, that's a beast. That's my hand. So it's not a small fly at all. <laughs> Hmm, I need to find some decent size horns. Let me have a look in my pile back in the back. Think ahead. Let me see. I put my glasses on. Thanks a lot, Rish. How are you, buddy? Let me see. I want to find the longest one I got. short I think it's in this bag yeah yeah these are beasts <clears throat> Yeah, that will do. Oh, such a nice place. And uh, thank you so very much, buddy. Yeah. Uh, she, she was a really nice tire. I should do a video uh, tying uh, one of her patterns in hand. That, that would be fun live. Maybe that's the next challenge. Whoops. It's, it's not wise uh, throwing the scissor around. This one is sharp. <laughs> it will just st get stuck in your knee or something. Dead by scissor. <laughs> that, that would be fun. So let me position the thread. <clears throat> then we have these humongous horns. No, I haven't seen that uh, movie. Is it good? Great film. Is it available on uh, Net Netflix or HBO or Prime or anything?
<clears throat> so just gonna reshape this one a little bit. So there we have the horns in place. So I'm just gonna cut uh, the horns and then do, do the hurl head. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shatter size. My God. I forgot that. Whew. Thank you. I stopped looking at the pattern description. Scary stuff. Thank you, Dave. You saved me. Otherwise, it would be shatter variant. Oh, whew. But thinking out loud, since, since I did the whole body with Kingfisher, maybe I should go with Kingfisher as well. Let me see. I'm trying to move this up a bit. Yeah, now it looks better. I think it went in something like 140, 150 feathers in the body, uh, Dimitri. Yeah, I got, got some real stuff, Dave. Let me have a look in my goodie bag. Yeah, why not? It, it would look pretty nice, I think. Just gonna work on the fibers here as well. So the hackle is in the, in the way. Thank you. 
Let me have a look. Shutter. <laughs> so let me see. I've been collecting materials for a long time, so. Looks like Kingfisher to me though. So, Kingfisher, Kingfisher. Fairy Bluebird, Fairy Bluebird. Oh, now we're talking. That's the real deal. Let's see what we got more. Yeah, but let's use those. That will be good enough. nice oh yeah So just preparing the feather. I'm gonna prepare both so I can just tie them in. <laughs> yeah, if you take this box, uh, I'm keeping it, the, the other ones, these ones. <laughs> I just keep your split canes. So, one more fiber. There we are. One more. Scary stuff, because I don't want to cut the stem. Eh?
And let's do the same on the other side. No, not really. I think I need more vex. There we go. Give it a try again. I'm not really flat. I want it to be really flat on. So I might cut a few of these away. Added too much from tackle, and not only falls, I added it all around. No, it's an evil feather. Now, uh, buy, buy in bulk, uh, always better, because Venyard doesn't know anything about the uh, crests at all. Uh, <laughs> so, so buy bulk, uh, sort yourself, clean wash, uh, dry. Much, much better. There they are. So I'm just going to align the toppings where I want them. So, so now we can add uh, the horns. And after the horns, we add the hurl. I, I would say between two and three kingfisher skins, uh, depending on hook size. I, I'm tying on a rather large hook, uh, Dimitri. Uh, I'm tying on, on a 5 0 long shank. So that would be, yeah, like 7 0. So I think you would, would yeah, two, two or three skins. But 
buy, make sure you got three skins and then you're home free. Oh, and my thread is acting out. Hmm, that's going to be interesting. Okay. Got a bit. Uh, let me find new tread it's a bit thick now but let's go with that one mm -mm -mm -mm. there we go Be back in the game. A bit thicker thread that than I wanted, but it's okay. Let me wax it a bit more. Yeah, it really does. Looks nice. Real intense colors. Let me add the, the last horn. Somewhere like that. So let's add the hurl head last step.
Just reading up uh, so I don't miss anything. Medium size, yeah. Uh, so uh, see if you can buy in bulk from like uh, in Asia or something, uh, feather provider, and uh, then you can buy like 30, 40, and then just sort them out yourself. So it's turning the wrong way. So I just need to change side. Not sure if it's gonna be the right side, but let's see. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it's gonna cut that one. And then we're gonna work with the toppings a bit. And the horn. There we go. And then we're going to cut the thread. And release some pressure on the tail. And then we're going to do, sorry for moving the camera. There we are, guys. A shatter. So just moving the camera up. There we go. So just gonna read the chat, uh, just in case I missed something. Thanks a lot, Dave. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty pleased with the outcome. Uh, not bad at all. Um, first time I tried this um, pattern at all, so it was nice to do it with you guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> 80% of the world gear reserves. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid. I, 
I think I have like 70 heads or something uh, that they selected. Um, yeah, the blind eye, um, if, if you look at the description of my videos, uh, then you have a contact for uh, Graham Kelly. Let me just do like this. He's making my hooks. There you see gcully.gc at gmail.com he's in the uk he's making my hooks fantastic handmade hooks they, they're not uh, cheap but they they are really 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 good quality and for be handmade hooks i think uh, uh, the, the, the price is really fair. Uh, the amount of work and hours that goes into one hook is just stunning. Uh, so, um, yeah, I love them. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, this was really, really fun. Not sure how we can uh, top this one uh, <laughs> with the ne next pattern. I think it's impossible. The shatter is like... Uh, the the hardest fly ever there is uh, so uh, who knows uh, maybe i need to tie a shatter in hand or something <laughs> but but uh, yeah that, that's uh, let, let me know in the comments you 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 can request a pattern it doesn't need to be uh, super difficult uh, so uh, yeah who knows yeah a 12 size 12 in hand <laughs> that would be fun yeah i think it, I'm going to go upstairs and pour myself a, a glass of wine and just uh, chill out a bit. This was great fun, guys. Um, thanks a lot for watching. I'm, I'm super uh, thankful. Um, you, you guys are the best. You know, 23 people watching this one live now. It's amazing for me. It's huge. And I'm grateful. So... Uh, have a fantastic weekend, guys. Yeah, thank you. Over and out. Peace, love. Bye, guys.